Hey. It's Hank again with another dog walk. My mind was wondering about the creative process. I started writing a story yesterday about a subject that has no relation to my uh, real world experiences. Uh, it's about people getting marooned on an island somewhere after a shipwreck. And the story, although it didn't pop into my head uh, completely finished, I didn't know the ending for instance, which well, is kind of an integral part of a story, but still it kind of came to me, the image of the story came to me complete. It's hard to explain, but it is. It did. So I started wondering, how does this work? How, how, where does a story like that come from? People marooned on an island. I know I read uh, Daniel Defoe's Robinson Crusoe about loosely based on the life of Alexander Selkirk at a young age. But it's not enough to spark a story like this. And if you read my blogs and know a little bit about me, you know I'm an extreme realist. I don't believe in the magical side or the spiritual side of life. I believe that everything around us is scientifically explainable. Maybe not yet, but it is a scientific process that's behind everything. So also the, the, the workings of my mind, the mind of any creator, whether it be Picasso painting his Guernica or me writing a crappy story. However, the pleasure I get from writing and I hope the excitement or pleasure or horror that someone gets from reading my stories is not fully explained yet. And although I believe everything is explainable, I'm not saying it should be explained. In a way, I'm glad not everything is explained yet. Because that gives creators the possibilities to wow other people, to make other people feel things. It gives us the opportunity to watch movies, read books, listen to music, without everything explained. As an analogue to that might serve the fact that I have worked as a studio technician and producer for a while. And it made me listen to music in a totally different way. I listened technically, I listened to how they recorded stuff, where they placed microphones, how they coached the singer. Because I was doing that myself, I could hear it happening in tracks I was listening to, and it kind of partly killed the enjoyment of listening to music. And now that I've been out of that business for over a year now, I'm starting to listen to music with a freer mind and freer ears. And I'm just enjoying the raw pleasure of it again. And I think the same goes for the creative process in general. As soon as we explain it all, part of the pleasure, part of the excitement will go away. So if any scientists watch this, vain hope, I beg you, if you find how it all works, find out how it all works, Put your findings in a strong box and throw away the key. Because although I am convinced that everything around us is scientifically explainable, I'm not sure I'm interested. Signing off, until the next dog walk, bye!